Let me show you an example and then quickly explain the fundamental idea of embedded systems programming. And uh, let me go ahead and first do it. So what you saw was colors getting printed on a square. And that square is representing a screen. And what you see on the screen right now in front of you is a model. It's an emulation of a system with a CPU trying to uh, interact with the screen, the GPIOs, or the buttons and uh, lights. And let me explain what all is going on. And then we'll come to that key idea using which you can become uh, the Tony Stark and be able to program embedded devices. All right, so what you see here is the memory. And the memory has code in it. And the code is represented as long numbers, um, you know, 32 bit wide in this case. And they are placed uh, on addresses of different location in the memory. So they are placed at different location. Each location has an address. So that's idea number one memory addresses and stuff stored at the addresses okay what you see on this side here is the uh, model of a cpu it's not the electrical circuits within a cpu the central processing unit it's actually just a model behavioral model of the cpu all right and then at the bottom here we see something called uh, inputs and outputs and uh, for example, here, there's something called general purpose input and output, which is, well, LEDs and switches. Switches represent the input, LEDs represent the output. What you see here is a representation of a physical screen, uh, a square screen, uh, which has pixels that are to be rendered. Okay, so let me then now show you another example and then conclude on that key idea. So I reset, let me go here. Um, let me go here actually and um, load the GPIO program, turn on the animation and then start to run. So what you're now seeing is that the CPU is fetching instructions from the memory and trying to do something. What I'll go ahead and do now is toggle a switch and what you should see is that the LED lit up. And here's then the fundamental idea. That idea is of memory mapped I.O. The fact that the input and output um, devices or input and output related circuits are exposed to the CPU as addresses, as memory addresses. So there is no difference between the actual memory where data can be stored and the, um, the memory or let's say the addresses where the status of the input and output is stored. If there is anything that you should be mastering to master embedded systems programming, lower level systems engineering, that is the idea of memory mapped IO. And if you know you want to learn more about this, do check out the content on this page. Uh, the library access has all the sub modules and sub courses, so to speak, that guide you on doing all of this, but on the physical devices, but on real devices. This is just so to speak, a model on the screen. And by the way, you can go ahead and go to this URL right here, which is, uh, well, um, just a moment, yeah, which is eseo-tech.github.io slash emulsiv. That is where you'll find this and you can play around uh, with you know all of the examples. Now, talking about myself, uh, as a kid, I wanted to be a toy maker. I grew up to doing electrical engineering. And when I got my degree, I also learned that I actually knew very little about electrical engineering. I was exposed to ideas, but I couldn't put the ideas together. It took me another decade um, to kind of stitch all of those together and come to the conclusion that the fundamental ideas are very, very simple, except there is a way to teach them. There is a way to land them with the student. Uh, and I think I ran into ran into teachers or you know professors who made it too much complicated or they gave me too much details and it took me 10 years to stitch that together all right so what i have done as part of the library i and one of my friends very close friends what we have done is taken our understanding our research our learnings of electrical engineering and embedded systems and bring to you the fundamental ideas and the fundamental concepts that you should know to become the Tony Stark, 
to be able to program your own devices and do so from scratch. At the end of the library access, after completing the courses, you will be able to reason everything about what a CPU is, how it looks, how to imagine it, how to program it, how to do so in C language, how to do it in assembly language, how to write scheduler, uh, everything, including at some point, you know, even hardware design. So all of that is covered as part of the library access. And uh, give me just a moment here to be able to show you how and uh, you know what manner you can pursue the courses. So let me just come back here and bring this here. So the courses that are included um, are well. We start uh, start off with you know what what is the roadmap and career options available to anyone who does low level programming. So we start off there, and what you see on the left side here are a bunch of courses. By the way, every box here is a course. So Courses here are essentially ad hoc, and you can you know, pursue them randomly. Um, you know, we have a saying that when pursuing the library access, when consuming the content, you know, uh, do so with popcorn. Uh, so you, you know, this side, the left side content, you can just pursue it arbitrarily whenever you want. There's no prerequisites for those. Uh, but if you want a structured approach, we would suggest that you complete the essentials, which has like a roadmap and what are the options. Of what all you can contribute to in the industry and then after that we focus on the c language reasoning uh, down to the cpu uh, if you feel c language is uh, hard well you know take this course and i think you, your conclusion will be um, c is the easiest language of everything else 32 keywords that you got to master and that's it then we spend some time on c pointers then we go on to manipulating or sorry mastering bit manipulation then we go on to exploring data structures and how to use them and how to do so uh, using the c language then after that you have an option between either going the firmware route where you are working with microcontrollers or you can go the systems engineering or system software route where you have a processor and a lot of uh, other components around it it's like a like a pc mobile phone tablet those kind of things you program here. On the left side, you're dealing with things that are independent, like microwave oven, which is like having a microcontroller within it, um, washing machine, um, things of those nature, you know, one function set for life. This, the right side is for general purpose compute. The secrets of that are kind of, you know, shared here and firmware engineering includes microcontroller based programming. Now you learn the assembly language, how to program in assembly, how the CPUs boot up, how they interact with input and output system, how you can control uh, where the code should live in the memory, um, all of that secrets, you know, everything shared. And in fact, those are the basics that anyone should know. Uh, and kind of, in my opinion, universities do a very bad job at teaching that. So, and you know, we are continuing to add more courses. So it's not like, you know, these are the only ones. The library access is uh, a growing offering and we plan on including every course that we have made and we will make in the library access. And when I say we, uh, it is the Pajama Bra team, it is I and Mamad. And uh, we are also working with external partners, those who are experts of their own topics. And we will be offering those as partner courses. They may may not get included in the library access uh, because of you know uh, copyright and other uh, licensing issues um, with the creators, other creators. But this is what the library access has right now. And uh, on this side, by the way, you also you will also learn how to design and program uh, hardware logic. How do you go about creating a CPU of your own? Uh, you know, you are of your own, all of that is covered in these courses. So if all of this excites you, again, this is, you know, our effort to make it as easy as possible for anyone starting off um, and wanting to program embedded systems. Um, this, we intend to make a complete package that will give you the basics very quickly so that you can go and do what I long to do, which is make toys, make your own stuff and become the real life Tony Stark. All right, so if this excites you, please do join the library access and I'll see you on the other side.